Hello and um, welcome back. As a follow-up on my uh, video on how to get six out of six on every SISMAT question, I want to look at a typical SISMAT question. As this 9 to 1 exam is the first of its kind, this uh, GCSEs, we do not have past papers to look at. But luckily and ideally, the exam boards have released assessment materials with which we, the teachers have been using to prepare our students. Specifically, this is from the AQA Higher Paper Biology Unit 1. Uh, biology paper one that's how they've called it all right now if you look at this question just to practice some of the things that I did uh, talk about in my last video I'm just gonna read through really quickly this is a question a specific question and it's on uh, viruses all right in 2014 the Ebola virus killed almost 8,000 8, people in Africa Drug companies have developed a new drug to treat Ebola. Explain what testing must be done before this new drug can be used. I've read it the first time. I'm going to read it again. In 2014, the Ebola virus killed almost 8,000 people in Africa. I'll underline Africa just in case conditions of living in the area would affect the question. And then drug companies, so there are drug companies, obviously they make drugs. They have now developed a new drug to treat Ebola. Explain, command word, explain what testing must be done before this new drug can be used for people. All right? I have read it twice. I have underlined the keywords in order for me to have the space to write it on I am going to wipe off the question all right because it's a video you can pause it to look at it again and obviously if you have questions about this you can ask me now looking at um, what the question is talking about I'm going to do a really quick draft right so I am going to talk I'm going to say uh, talk about uh, mention the Ebola virus really quickly I'm going to start with that and this is about drug testing i already know so new drug and then procedure for uh create developing actually when i say developing using is that the process of a new drug Okay, I've done a quick test. I'm going to look at it again. Yes, it's about the Ebola virus. Viruses are very dangerous. There are no good viruses at all. They all kill. They invade the cell of the person and destroy the cell. Take over the cell, actually, and start using the cells, the living organism cells, to divide because they cannot reproduce on their own. So viruses are dangerous. They are deadly. Okay? So I'm not going to say that, but that's, I'm just trying to remind myself of the science behind this. Now, let me quickly mention here, like I said to the student I was working with on this question, I said, they're talking about Ebola virus because he left it out. He didn't answer the question. He wasn't sure. And I just imagine things going through his mind. Uh, what was my own with Ebola? What was my own with what's happening and all that? Then all the news, that all the things that were in the news start to pop up. But if you focus on the question, they're asking you to explain the procedure, the steps involved in drug, in drug development and, use, and, and usage. Now, it's very important that you remember that it's not as much as, it's not really about Ebola virus in this question. It's mainly about the procedure of creating or developing a new drug because there are guidelines. So it could be a drug about any other disease these procedures that I'm going to go through will still be relevant. So on your exam paper, you might not find a question about developing a drug for Ebola. You might find a drug, developing a drug for measles or any other uh, disease that, that, or even how there was, they developed a drug for malaria or any other disease condition. The process in the world, in scientific world, for developing a drug before a company can say we are now going to make this drug available, it must go through these procedures. So these are the steps. So I'll draft an opening sentence. 
the Ebola virus is indeed a deadly one. So for companies to develop and make available a new drug, they must follow the set procedure or process procedures, right? That was a good one. So I'll then start to list them. Number one, they should have, there should be a preclinical trial or testing. Now, in preclinical trial, what they're just doing, they're testing the new drug on living cells or tissues or living um, live animal. So they'll test it on these live animals with this method of testing it on tissues or cells. They'll be able to establish toxicity. How toxic is it? Is this drug a very toxic one? Does it produce so many or does it generate so many toxins that can create a new problem? That is how they establish side effects. That's how they establish uh, uh, possible side effects of the drugs. They can have a broad spectrum of side effects, the level of toxicity, and they can also establish the dosage and the efficacy of the dosage. So that's number one. Then when they've established all of that, they will then proceed to clinical trial. So point number two would be the stage of the clinical trial. Clinical trial. In clinical trial, they will take very, very small amount of the medication of the drug and administer it to healthy volunteers. The last people to volunteer themselves to have this drug tested on them. They will also test it on patients. That way they will be able to establish the safety and the side effects of the drug. And then they will be able to establish the optimum dosage. So side effects will be established. So remember they ask for volun um, healthy volunteers side effects and maximum or optimum optimum dosage will be determined so when they determine the optimum dosage they will then go on to do use uh, do another trial using the placebos placebo is actually the drug that does not have the drug in it so they can use a placebo. Placebo is, it doesn't have, does not contain the drug. So it could just be a sugar pill or something like that. However, when they do that, it's important that they assign, they assign people, that is, People that they're going to use the placebo on and uh, the, drug, the, the actual drug, or they're going to put them randomly in groups. They're going to assign people to groups randomly. What that means, nobody will know who is in the placebo group or who is in the actual drug group. So they, are, they randomly assign people to groups. So nobody will know which, which group they belong to. That way, no one would know who is taking the real drug or who is taking the placebo. This is very important because the result from these tests will enable them to establish, all right, I'll write it here, to further establish the efficacy, yeah? The efficacy of the drug. Because if I just put it in perspective for you, because I like to explain the point so young people can remember it in exam. 
if they give the drugs to different groups and it turns out that there is actually no difference between those who have the placebo and those who have the drug then obviously that drug needs to be further checked because it doesn't show that it's efficient there is no e efficacy cannot be established when they've done all of that one more thing that's so important is they will do peer review so you know it's a particular drug company that's trying to create or develop this drug so it's important for peer review very importantly peer review by peer review they will send this material to other scientists other drug companies other people who do something similar to test the drug to check it and review their process their procedure and the um, outcome that they have from all their trials to be able to establish that these people, this, this drug company is not just making a false claim. So there, there will be peer review. Very, very important. When they've done that, then they can indeed make the new drug available for treating people with Ebola. So what I'm going to say finally is this is a six mark question. Answering it like that would ensure. Remember you're tested on English as well. Uh, use the use of sentence structure and everything. Provided all of that is in place, you'll be able to achieve six out of six when you answer it like that. So what I'm going to say or what I always say to students is sometimes there might be another question in line with peer review. They could ask you about how other scientists in the world get to know about a new scientific innovation or discovery and all that. The, well, the scientist who discovers it has to send information to other scientists in different parts of the world for peer review. They can do it through emails, letters. They can go to conferences or seminars and present their findings so that other scientists can look at it, can test it, do a general overview, review, look at it from every angle against the same scientific procedure before it is established and accepted in the world that the findings of this particular scientist is actually true and then it becomes a theory or if it's a drug it becomes acceptable so that could be another question that you ask for two marks or three marks depending on how the question is worded remember you must keep positive it's so important positivity wins all the time and no i know it's just about three weeks plus before the uh, we take the science exam but you know what <clears throat> if you keep revising keep asking your question your questions keep keeping positive keep watching these videos you're bound to pass remember you must pass exam success is what i'm on about is what i wish you and i hope and pray that you really really succeed in this gcse exams god bless